Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. We have another Epic Universe update. It's a bit, been a while, so there's been plenty of changes, especially in the theming department. A lot of buildings are starting to get themed in all the lands, as you'll start to see as we go through land by land. And yeah, it is already mid-2023, so this land will be open in just under two years, which is pretty exciting. We can get the overview. Just about almost every single building has been up. The entrance is going higher as well as some of the auxiliary buildings, restaurants, ticketing, and all that good stuff. And yeah, it's just incredible. And we're going to make our way land by land. We have all updates on all four major lands here and the hotels, um, which have been making some progress as well. So let's go ahead and start off with the Dark Universe. Taking a look the, at the Big E to get room to be a theme to Frankenstein. See a lot of the scaffolding still up and where those two yellow arrows are. That is where the gothic vibes are happening. That gothic theming to the building starting to show up. And right now it has the blue uh, siding on it. But then eventually we'll have those, uh, you know, that gothic wall. Which they have lots of test pieces in the parking lot for that wall as well. I'd say the next few months that scaffolding started to come down. And revealing a beautiful yet scary facade. Taking a look at a more overview of the whole land. You can see... Um, in the hub, some of the restaurants there, like the the Moon Room and Moon Pie restaurant, is over there. And there's the uh, edges of the hotel there as well. But looking more into the Dark Universe land itself, see the Curse of the Railroad roller coaster has lots of theming on the station facade as well as the barn has that same kind of texture. And we'll get into that a closer look into that a little later. Um, not too big of land. But the village is has some scaffolding still, and is eventually getting some theming. And the wow, the restaurant with the uh, windmill is having some has some rock work on its upper levels as well. And we'll get into that picture uh, later on. And there's a snack stand uh, by a refreshment stand by the exit to the e-ticket attraction. It has that same type of wood, wood uh, roof paneling and styling as the other structures in the dark universe area taking a look at the curse of werewolf coaster again you can see that all the theming has been installed and the roof has been installed for the barn that shuttle launch section there in the barn and work is happening on the outdoor queue as well as steel frames for that structure are going up right now a wider shot of the coaster shows just how big this footprint takes and you can see the again the queue will be right in the middle of the structure, almost like Flight of the Hippogriff with the, the cues kind of in the middle of the coaster and out of the coaster, and the coaster kind of goes around it. So it should be a nice use of space here, and it should be add some kinetic energy while you're in the land, in the land and in the line. Taking a look at the windmill restaurant, you can see the rock work is starting to be installed on the wall, on the upper roofs of that wall there. Rumor has it you'll be kind of going into a mountain uh, to get into this uh, structure here and that every so often at nighttime the windmill will catch on fire just like in the movie which would be really cool but yeah it's nice to see some theming starting to form right on this restaurant here it's good daddling on over to the hotels you can see the terra luna and stella nova hotels are making great project progress the um, upper level of uh, the main structure of the sister hotel to i think the terra nova um is getting built right now and it's almost caught up to its neighbor over there at the stella luna tower the pool is still being worked on which is quite nice or terra nova tower the school the pool is being worked on and yeah that this should be on easily potentially not even 2025 but um there's been some talk going around that maybe these hotels can open up earlier 2024 and i seen see why they can now because i mean they're just about almost done already working on the universal Grand Helios Hotel, though, has not been so lucky in terms of fastness. This is using a different construction method, so they're still just on that second floor. Hopefully, things start to ramp up a little faster. For this one, this one will probably open up with the park, so they still have two years to go. And they're probably actually even using many of their construction uh, crews on various parts of the park. And I bet you that when some of those other lands start to finish up and some of those other ET contractions that are more complex than building the hotel start to wrap up, all the crews will probably be descending on the Grand Helios Hotel and that will probably sprout up 
I'm guessing next year when most of this other stuff is wrapping up. Moving on to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Paris, you can see it really a reminiscent of a bigger Diagon Alley. As these five-story Paris buildings are humongous and they're even creating plenty of shade down there. Um, because it's just, just huge. And you can see like a central courtyard type forming. And there's the arch. The ar arch over there. We'll get a better look at it. But it's completely under scaffolding. And should it get some more theming pretty soon. Going closer into the area of Paris. There you can see a lot of the roof tiles that weren't on last time have been installed. And steel frames for Parisian structures are starting to be erected right now. As this land really starts to um, get in shape. Here's yet another angle of the interior of the courtyard complex and just tons and tons of scaffolding. And there's the, that'll be the entrance to the e-ticket and the show, which, the show attractions over there. The only two, and then the course is room for future expansion down the line, which I can't wait to see what other Harry Potter type ride they come up with. Yeah, this would be land you could probably spend all day in, just like their other Harry Potter areas throughout the resort. You can stay and spend all day in those because I'm sure there'll be many interactive wand experiences, different types of stores and shops, and just a really nice environment. Maybe even some live entertainment, maybe some street performers and everything like you find in real Paris. Lastly, here's a look at that entrance arch. And the entrance tunnel looks just about done. I think there'll be something on top of it. But there's the entrance arch, which is under scaffolding. Remember last time we saw this? It was just a uh, an archway, but it was just... A big steel frame so I'm very excited to see this themed and ready to go maybe by then I'd say definitely by the fall it could be potentially done this at least the arch section moving on to how to train the dragon the largest land of the area about what, like 20 acres or some 17 20 acres I, I believe so um, or 14 somewhere in there it's, it's the largest one though and this area could be composed of family coasters and family flat rides, and well, actually somewhat thrilling flat rides like this particular one. This one will have uh, two towers, be twin flat rides, and this would be, I think, the Dragon Trainer attraction or something, or wing gliders, where you'll be uh, spinning round and round on uh, what will feel like an airplane, but it'll be like training your dragon and uh, going ahead and going. This is going to be one of the somewhat thrilling flat rides because you'll, you'll be kind of way up there but yeah there'll be two towers and you see one of the towers is being installed now which is that brown support looking structure here to the more family friendly flat ride is the mock, mock splash battle attraction you can see the conveyor belt which has been done for a while but there's the whole area that massive lagoon area where you'll be splashing other boats but also people people will have um those you know those guns that can pay like a, a couple bucks and spray you as you're on your boat and you can spray them right back which will be a really fun interactive attraction especially on really hot and humid days like it is right now in the summertime here's a wonderful shot over the great hall but on in trademarks it's actually mead hall from the movie and uh, yeah this will be the land's main eatery it should be really really big and very beautifully themed inside so i cannot wait to see this again in a couple of years checking in in on the theater and the theater, the roof is finally getting installed over the main section, the actual show portion. The other areas have been done, the pre-show areas have been done for a while, but nice to see the actual theater itself getting enclosed in. And looking at the station for the roller coaster, that is actually getting enclosed in as well. A whole bunch of wooden paneling has been installed on the first half, and then just waiting on the second half for installation on that as well. And lastly, for how to train a dragon, or the Isle of Burke as it's called in permits, Here's a look at the fully painted statues in the entrance lagoon. This is the entrance statement, which will look absolutely stunning. And even a couple of Viking boats there as well, which are both fully painted. I can't, cannot wait to see this lagoon filled up with water. Uh, there will be just a beautiful entrance statement. And again, a great collection of movies if you haven't watched those already. And last but not least, moving over to Super Nintendo World, where there's been plenty of progress on the Donkey Kong attraction. But first, let's take some quick looks into the Mushroom Kingdom, where there's been... Plenty of progress as well. Here is the entrance tunnel with the war pipes. You can see the the steel pipes sticking up from the entrance. Those will be different colored war pipes. And there will be an escalator to take you up to Peach's Castle and into Mushroom Kingdom. Here is a more overview shot of the entire Mushroom Kingdom. Most of it, again, 
fully built out and stuff that's not already cased in concrete is getting installed the mountains have uh, again a lot of yellow sheet paneling there for that's the first phase just like we saw what we hear what we saw here at Hollywood for our construction be yellow then blue then we'll get the theming of the whole themed elements of the whole land a lot of the hills are being installed right now a lot of the elements of the land are under that yellow sheeting so in the next few months here we should see lots and lots of theming start to pop up in the mushroom kingdom Moving on to Donkey Kong though, which is really cool, we finally have the themed track for the Donkey Kong Donkey Kong Minecart Madness Coaster. Look at that. Looks just like a railroad, and what you'll, what you'll be traveling on, and it's really cool. I mean, absolutely incredible. And this is such a cool coaster. This concept is super cool. I cannot wait to see a uh, real life POV of it, and I can't wait to ride it in just a couple of years. Moving on to another section of the Dark and Count Coast, you can see more of that theme track is on, and they even have one of those clearance um, carriages. That's what they use. They use uh, that train with those those structures, those shapes there. Those are clearance shapes, so they'll make sure the train or the people's heads won't hit any of the obstacles or anything, any of the themed elements. And that's what they're doing now. They run this uh, object slowly throughout the entire track, and that's the first first sign of actual testing actually it's called the clearance testing they do that a couple times and that means the track is complete for this track because they don't do that unless the roller coaster track is totally in and complete and that is it for epic universe update for today haven't had one in a while again thank you to bio reconstruct for always providing these fantastic aerial views of epic universe and i am so glad that he does this i'm glad that he's healthy not me he's been in and out of the hospital if you follow him on twitter you'll, you'll see why but i'm glad it seems like he has not been in the hospital for a bit now so i'm glad he's getting better and glad he's doing what he loves providing these awesome updates so thank you again bio reconstruct and epic universe itself universal is really really uh kicking butt here with building this uh part there just zoom and zoom and i can't wait to see more themed elements pop on here as we go by the weeks and months now that all the main structures seem to be up and yeah very exciting so what do you guys think of epic universe let me know in the comments below subscribe for more epic universe updates and as always have a epic day